Looking back over the last, shall we say, 40 years uh, since the opening up, uh, the cooperation between Africa and China has been particularly uh, important. It has changed the face and the character of the continent. It has had a dramatic impact on the country, a positive impact on the country. But we can tell by the volume of trade, by the FDI, measures of FDI to Africa. I have my favorite, everybody has their favorite area of cooperation. If I had my choices, I would say they should depend, the two sides should depend cooperation in the area of agriculture and food security. We, as a continent, are truly vulnerable. 20% of the people, according to the IMF, for instance, 20% of Africans face chronic hunger problems. We have, we have to deal with that. And unless we can provide the food to get these people out of their food insecurity, everything else we plan will not work. We have to get rid of food insecurity before we can do anything else. It doesn't matter anything else you plan. If people are hungry, forget it. There are certain parameters that are, are important. Uh, for example, we pay a lot of attention to the large state-owned enterprises from, from China operating in Africa. But in fact, in this case, 70% of the 10,000 companies that operate on the continent, 70% of them are small, medium-sized enterprises. It is those companies that will determine the relationship because that's the large group of Chinese that the average African encounters.